we're asked to identify the percent, amount, and base in this problem. And they ask us, 150 is 25% of what number? They don't ask us to solve it, but it's too tempting. So what I want to do is first answer this question that they're not even asking us to solve. But first, I want to answer this question. And then we can think about what the percent, the amount, and the base is. Because those are just, just words. Those are just definitions. The important thing is to be able to solve a problem like this. So they're saying 150. They're saying 150 is 25% of what number? Or another way to view it is 150 is 25% of some number. So let's, if we say that x, so let's let x x is equal to the number the number that 150 is 25% of right that's what we need to figure out 150 is 25% of what number that number right here we're saying is x so that tells us that if we start with x and if we were to take 25% of x if we were to take 25% of x so 25% of x, you can imagine that's the same thing as multiplying it by 25%, which is the same thing as multiplying it, if you view it as a decimal, times 0 0.25 times x. These two statements are identical. So if you start with that number, you take 25% of it, or you multiply it by 0 0.25, that is going to be equal to 150. That is going to be equal to 150. 150 is 25% of this number. And then you can solve for x. So let's just start with this one over here. So if we just have, if let me just write it separately so you understand what I'm doing. 0 0.25 times some number is equal to 150. Now, there's two ways we can do this. We can divide both sides of this equation by 0 0.25. Or if you recognize that, well, you know, four quarters make a dollar, you could say let's multiply both sides of this equation by four. You could do either one. I'll do the first because that's how we normally do algebra problems like this. But so let's just multiply both by 0 0.25, multiply this times or multiply it by 0 0.25. That will just be an x, and then the right hand side will be 150 divided by 0 0.25. And the reason why I want to do this is really is this good practice dividing by a decimal. So let's do that. So we want to figure out what 150 divided by 0 0.25 is. And we've done this before. When you divide by decimal, what you can do is you can make the number that you're dividing into the other number, you can turn this into a whole number by essentially shifting the decimal 2 to the right. But if you do that for the number in the denominator, you also have to do that to the numerator. So right now, this is you can do this as 150.00. If you multiply 0.25 times 100, you're shifting the decimal 2 to the right. Then you'd also have to do that with 150. So then it becomes 15,000. Shift it 2 to the right. So our decimal place becomes like this. So 150 divided by 0.25 is the same thing as 15,000 divided by 25. And let's just work it out really fast. So 25 goes into doesn't go into fi, doesn't go into one doesn't go into 15. It goes into 150. What is that? Six times, right? It goes into 104 times. So it goes into 150 six times. Six times. Six times 0.25. Is or actually this is now a 25. We've shifted the decimal. The decimal sitting right over there. So six times 25 is 150. You subtract. You get no remainder. Bring down this zero right here. 25 goes into zero zero times. Zero times 25 is zero. Subtract. No remainder. Bring down this last zero. 25 goes into zero zero times. Zero times 25 is zero. Subtract. No remainder. So 150 divided by 0.25 is equal to 600. And you might have been able to do that in your head, because when we were at this point in our equation, 0.25x is equal to 150, you could have just multiplied both sides of this equation times 4. 4 times 0.25 is the same thing as 4 times 1 fourth, which is a whole. And 4 times 150 is 600. So you would have gotten it either way. And this makes total sense. Because 100, if 150 is 25% of some number, that means 150 should be one fourth of that number, or it should be a lot smaller than that number, and it is. 150 is one fourth of 600. Now, let's answer their actual question. Identify the percent. 
Identify the percent. Well, it looks like 25%. That's the percent, is 25%. The amount and the base in this problem. And based on how they're wording it, I assume amount means when you take the 25% of the base, so they're saying that the amount, is my best sense of it, is that the amount is equal to the percent is equal to the percent times the base times the base let me do the base in green so the base is the number you're taking the percent of the amount is the 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 quantity that that percentage represents so here we already saw the percent the percent is 25% that's the percent. The number that we're taking 25% of, or the base, is the base is x. You know this right here. What number x? These are that is the base. The value of it is 600. We figured it out. And the amount is 150. This right here is the amount. The amount is 150. 150 is 25% of the base of 600. The important thing is how do you solve this problem? You know, the, the words themselves, you know, th th those are all really just definitions.